Hi, everyone. Great to be here. And I'm Giorgio Rocca, CEO and co-founder of Biosentis, where we are developing groundbreaking insect control solutions. And we are a biotech company and an Imperial College London spin-out. We build and leverage on the latest advancements on genomics to protect society from the most harmful species in the world. So let's start from the problem we are solving for. If you refuse to let them go, I will bring locusts into your country tomorrow. They will cover the face of the ground so that it cannot be seen. They will devour what little you have left after the hail, including every tree that is growing in your fields. Well, 2020 has been a hell of a year, hasn't it? But what happened is not a joke. Still today, a tiny insect can appear and devastate entire countries, putting them into a food security, count, into a food security crisis. The desert locust invaded 25 countries and made $1.3 billion in damages. And this is not an isolated case. Take the Florida citrus production. It's been growing for 15 years, for 50 years, but since 2005, volumes went down by 80%. What happened? The citrus psyllid arrived from Asia and started spreading a devastating disease, the citrus greening, which killed most citrus trees. And orange juices are at risk around the world since this insect is now threatening California and Brazil. Another example, since 2016, the fall armyworm has been invading Africa, Middle East, India, Asia, and is now threatening and putting at risk the food security of 600 million people, being one of the worst pests of corn, soy, and wheat. Insects are without any doubt the costliest animal group to, insect, to uh, human society. They ravage every year 25% of crop production and they're responsible for 20% of all infectious diseases. In total, they make $500 billion of damages. And what tools do we have to fight back? Well, sadly, the answer would have been the same 20, 50, or even 100 years ago, mostly chemical insecticides. But with all these damages, why don't we just spray more? Why don't we use more insecticides? The problem is that insecticides have strong limitations. When we use them, we spray toxic substances over a certain area, and we hope that the target insects pass by and die. But there are many things that can go wrong. First, insects can just avoid the sprayed area, uh, thriving and hiding in separate breeding sites, waiting for the right moment to come back. Or they can develop resistance and survive. Second, even more importantly, insecticides are toxic for everyone, affecting human health and the environment. They get into soil and groundwater, uh, they leave residues on the food we eat, they kill beneficial insects, such as bees, at the detriment of pollination and biodiversity. And for all these reasons, regulators are taking away more and more of these products from the market, which is great news for environment and human health. Without insecticides, also the associated downsides go away. But it is a disaster for farmers and public health authorities who are left with less and less tools uh, to fight harmful insects. So this is one of the reasons why there are so many residual damages, and it is also why, at Biosentis, we propose a radically new approach. Instead of killing harmful insects with toxic substances, we can use genetics to prevent their birth. How? We engineer, rear, and release special males of the same species targeted for control. Then, the secret ingredient. Our technology leverages the most natural and powerful force on Earth, love. It is rooted in the nature of the insects to look for their life companions, insects tend to mate only once, and reproduce with them. But we mentioned our males, our insects are special, which means that they will only generate more special males that will start a new cycle, and so on and so forth, achieving an incredibly effective suppression. Here we see how this works in an insect population, which is initially at equilibrium, until we start releasing our special males, which effectively block reproduction, driving a strong reduction in the harmful insect population. And another interesting feature of our technology is that it is designed to disappear over time. So if we stop releasing, the wild population will recover. Essentially, it is reversible. But where does all this come from? 
You might have heard of a technology that can eradicate malaria using modified mosquitoes. Well, that has been invented by our founders. It's called GeneDrive that were first theorized in 2003. The development of our technology took 20 years at Imperial College London and was so successful that it attracted over $170 million in grants from some of the most important charities in the world, led by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Our scientific co-founders are CRISPR pioneers, and they were the first and only that managed to develop a self-sustaining suppression gene drive, an incredible result, unparalleled uh, to this day, which has been validated on the most important journals for biotech. And what they invented is a platform that can be applied to all insects, which is why Biocentis exists, to extend and calibrate the technology in other fields, such as agriculture and public health, beyond malaria. The gene drive invented by our co-founders has unparalleled potential in its most powerful self-sustaining configuration, which means it can spread indefinitely. It just requires one release, just once, of a few insects for the gene drive to spread into the harmful insect population and drive its suppression. This is now the technological engine of one of the largest programs aimed at eradicating malaria from Africa. At Biocentis, we use the same ingredients, which make our technology incredibly powerful, in a recipe tailored for commercial use. We already mentioned reversibility, but we didn't stop there. We also made the platform scalable. It means that we can easily produce our insects, activating the technology just at point of release. Sex sorting is genetically embedded, and we can ship and deliver eggs instead of adult insects. And you can imagine the difference. Truckloads of adult insects are equivalent to, to just a few boxes of eggs. But how does this translate into the economics? Ballpark numbers for insecticide treatments are 10 to $100 per hectare per year for arable crops and 100 to 1,000 for fruit and vegetables. Our insects are estimated to cost less than $50, opening huge opportunities for cost-effective insect control. We are extending the platform quickly, building on a heavily there is technology. We just need three to four years before we can move to field pilots and full implementation. And we're already working on two of the most harmful insect species in the world, Aedes aegypti, the vector of dengue, yellow fever, and Zika, and Rosophila Suzuki, a nightmare for cherry and berry growers. But our platform is broadly applicable, including to the most destructive uh, pests of citrus, tomatoes, and corn. The business opportunity is huge. And we have the best team to make it happen. It comprises the inventors of the technology, arguably the best genetic control scientists in the world, a dedicated data science team, and experts in business and venture creation. We also secured the support of an outstanding advisory board, which includes technology pioneers, regulators, industry experts, and even a Nobel laureate. At Biocentis, we are shaping the future of insect control for an healthier and more sustainable world. Thank you very much.